Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how resection is done uh, through sending total station. This is sending R5 total station. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about resection. Uh, resection is the process for determining the coordinate of unknown point. Suppose this is my point with unknown coordinate. Uh, resection is it's the process for determining the uh, location of our coordinate of this unknown point by using uh, minimum of two to five point um, known coordinate okay now let me give you an example suppose i have this point number a uh, this is point number b and this is point number c now uh, yarn e and z of this point are known to me now what i need to do is by using this three point coordinate uh, we, need, we can calculate the unknown coordinate of this point okay first of all um, by going to resection heading or on some total resection it is named as three station it's just the name the process is same uh, under resection head uh, point uh, known coordinate of this point are entered and the distance between this point is measured okay and again same process is repeated for this point number b and distance is measured now by using two point coordinate and distance uh, resection can be done but it is better if we can use three point coordinate so that the accuracy level is maintained and uh, resection point is limited to uh, five known point uh, maximum of five point can be used to calculate uh, unknown point coordinate okay uh, today we will see uh, our resection is done by using two point coordinate and distance and three point coordinate and distance today we are going to see on uh, our resection is done on sending arc 5 total station okay now let's begin the process on total station now let me show you the process for uh, doing resection let me pass power on the device you can see this is sending r5 total station now ok uh, this is the main phase so now after powering on the device now let me go to uh, menu uh, I have shown you the detailed uh, survey procedure using this total station so I will directly now go to the resection phase uh, now resection is also known as uh, free station on, on some total station it is said as free station now let me go on menu now inside menu i'll go to program option now let me press f1 okay and then you can see it on f3 there is a free station option now let me go to free station now, through free, free station we are going to reset the uh, point knowing either uh, two or uh, up to five five point is the limit for using resection method okay now first i will go to set job f1 okay now here is the default previously stored job as 3 now let me go to list uh, on the pressing f4 there will come the option as new now i'll go to new and set it as uh, job 4 okay this is just for a sample purpose okay sorry now i'll press enter and okay okay now i'll select for oh, job for file and i'll press enter okay and okay now my, my file is set as uh, number four now i'll go to set limit here uh, by default there will be uh, the status as off now we need to keep it on and the standard deviation the error uh, that this device can um, calculate or tolerate is uh, let me set it as zero point 0 0.010 or 0 0.015 as for your site require, uh, required condition you can set it now uh, let me set set as 0. Point, uh, sorry 0 0.010 and under rl section or elevation i'll set it as 0 0.020 okay now you can set it as for your requirement on site okay now i'll go to f4 and uh, this is a point name I'll set it as point name 
वन स्टेशन पॉइंट वन एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई डी इज वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव जीरो दिस इज ओके फॉर मी ओके नाउ आई सेव इट एज ओके नाउ द फ्री स्टेशन टारगेट पॉइंट नाउ द डिवाइस इज आस्किंग फॉर द फ्री स्टेशन नाउ दिस इज द टारगेट पॉइंट नाउ लेट मी इंटर द पॉइंट नेम इज लेट मी सेट एज पॉइंट नंबर टू and the reflector id should be uh, the required reflector id if you are using prism you need to insert uh, prism id or else you need to uh, mark it as 0.001 minimum value if the id is 0.00 also then you need to mark it as 0.001 so that uh, this will be easy for calculation the machine does not uh, calculate by using reflector id at 0.000 so i am putting at it as 0.001 i am uh, measuring using reflectorless option so i am setting it at 0.001 now let me in uh, input the coordinate of this point now i'll go to ens okay uh, before entering this value we need to target the machine to the uh, point which we have known the coordinate okay now i have targeted the machine to that point now let me enter the coordinate Okay, now I'll enter that point number two coordinate. I have targeted two point number three. Now let me input the coordinate of this point. I'll go to this. Okay, I have entered the required coordinate. Nothing is taking an elevation. Now I'll go to. I will, I will now I will save this data, okay, and I will measure the distance of this. Okay, now by using two point and distance, I uh, I can reset my this station point. For that, I will go to result, and you can see it in the error level. Okay, now no deviation is there. Okay, uh, it means uh, the procedure I have done is correct. and properly sorted okay now you can see it here my coordinate was the coordinate of this required station was uh, 1500 point the triple zero 1200 point triple zero and it was 1000 point triple zero okay the level was 0.001 error uh, this is okay for me i have kept it as 0.0 0.10 uh, okay this is uh, by using two point and distance uh, if we have third point we can use it third point now let me go back and we can see there it is uh, set as next point now i'll go to next point and enter third point to okay now let me target uh, the device to third point first now my device is targeted to third point now i'll go to point id and write it as point number 4 this will be my point number 4 uh, and reflector id is okay for me now i'll go to Sorry, it's not seen clearly. Now I'll go to this ENS function. You can see there EN as ENS. You can see there there as ENS. Now I'm going to this point number and input the required point of this. Okay, now I have inputted uh, nothing is taking an elevation of. Uh, the third point, and now let me go and save this. Okay, now I'll press distance. Okay, now I'll go to the result and see my required error level. Uh, this is okay, and now by using three point collimation, uh, you can see this is my station ID, instrument ID, nothing is taking an elevation. Okay. by this process we can uh, locate unknown point using uh, either two point or three point three known point coordinate uh, the maximum number of co coordinate uh, we can use is up to limited up to five point and minimum number two point is required two point and distance we need uh, distance uh, another method can also be done by using horizontal angle and distance also but the most commonly used method is by using coordinate form 
Okay, I hope this video helps you to use resection. How resection is done using sanding total station. Once my resection is done, now after uh, pressing OK, it's automatically getting back into uh, program phase. Okay, and then I can go to survey and then go to F2 station and I can either go to list uh, list 2, 3, 4 are the point uh, I inputted for measuring resection point ok now here is my point number 1 I can see this coordinate as well ok this is this one is the required coordinate and ok and ok now I can go to set orientation sorry I can go to set orientation F3 and input the coordinate of the back side and I can do survey accordingly.